Hello everyone, Riskmonger here. Welcome back to Batman Return to Arkham Asylum, where we have just poisoned Ivy, so to speak. Doing some heavy-duty yard work on Poison Ivy's Titan-enhanced plant. Whoa! Thrashing about, destroying the Elizabeth Arkham glass house. Whoa! And uh, you didn't see it, but right there I was able to pick up the injector full of Titan Antidote that Ivy knocked out of my hand the last episode. Whoa! And uh, that's my cue to exit. So we're gliding out into Arkham North, right next to a Riddler trophy. And it looks like I'm going to level up here. There's a lot going on. Alright, so my new primary objective is to go to the party. First I have to get this upgrade out of my face, literally. And this time I have two upgrades available. That's because I leveled up while fighting Ivy. Number one, who couldn't use some more health, am I right? And now I think it's high time I upgrade my battering power. And before heading to Joker's fireworks display, I want to finish one more thing. I only showed you a handful of the Riddler trophies around Arkham Asylum, but since we're here, this is what happens when you get the very last one. What? You did it? You must have cheated. There is no way you could have beaten me. Well, you asked for it, Batman. My final challenge for the whole of Gotham is just seconds away. What? Silence. The police. You cheated, Batman. You couldn't have outsmarted me. So that's how I foiled and embarrassed Edward Nigma that night. There was actually a fair bit of work involved. I had to decrypt a 512-bit cipher or whatever. But that's over and done with. And as I landed in front of the intensive treatment building, little did I know that would be my last glide of the evening. So let's skip a bit into Arkham West. And I can't... Does anybody know what this music is? The Joker's pumping through the loudspeaker? Okay, let's survey the... Oh, good heavens. Twenty henchmen? All standing in a line like that? Just calmly waiting for me to approach? But just four of them standing outside the Joker-decorated visitor center. Guest list only. And hey, this could Your be the last chance for me to pump in some custom in. music. So I better make this one worth it. Let's see, yeah, A. No, that's not right. So it's a B. 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 Ah, here it is. Batman. Wait, let me see that. Is that? It's like you're the guest of honor. Give him a big welcome, guys. Batman is just written over the whole thing, isn't it? You were just messing with me. No one is gonna throw a punch here. All right, well, allow me. There's no way I'm gonna miss this chance to crack a few more heads. Let's go for the greeter first. Whoa! Almost got away from me that time. Now just trying to build up my combo as high as possible, using all the old favorites. Long range strikes, ground takedown, and that time I hit him in the head, causing a pretty serious concussion. But you can also do it the other way around. And here comes the variation on the ground takedown, what I like to call the groined takedown. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, that's the last pun I'll do tonight. Now we're in the visitor's center, there's two rows of henchmen, eight on each side. They're all shouting, in unison, almost. And they're shouting over my favorite musical theme from the unofficial soundtrack, and not attacking me. I could just move on, but, but I can't pass up one last opportunity to fight to this music. Wait for this one to kick, turn to the rest. Wait, what? They're all just watching me fight that one guy? It's fine. Ugh. Oh, I see how it works. There's only a few who become active at a time, while the rest of them just stand around and cheer. It's like those cheesy kung fu movies. All right, but that's no fun. Let's get some more people involved in this. Start knocking people down. And a throw should open up the circle. Got two and one backed away. All 
Alright, first takedown of this encounter. Now we're down to just 15 left. Because I also lost my combo at times 15. Now let's just try to run up the combo meter while mixing up the music here. And mixing in the cape stun. Blah. Only got up to times 8 that time. And missed a takedown. And I lost one of the layers of the music because I got hit like a moron. Right, now let's try to build some momentum back up. And hey, look at this! I can use my Ultra Backclaw in combat. I can grab three enemies at once, or rather, two enemies and the rest of the music. Is that other layers coming back? As I break my previous fight record. Ugh, washed out at 17. <laughs> Alright, let's just try to tune the henchmen out. Get comfortable with my rhythm. Trying to be as efficient as possible. Now there's 11 left. Whoop, foot sweep. Finish off that guy, so now there's just 10. This takedown will make it 9. Going into single digits. Well, I'm also in a position to go for a new record. Just as the music track starts over. There's a neckbreaker takedown, so now there's 8 left. Now also a times 20 modifier. Another takedown available. Getting a good critical flow. Could I possibly get to times 30? Ugh, you have got to be kidding me. So now there's just 7 left. No way to build up another big combo. Well, that would be the name of the game for the henchmen. Well, the name of the game for me is just build up to those takedowns as quickly as possible. Ground pound for the last one. Oh no, I miscounted! Ooh, just enough time for that counter. And yes, I am a party pooper. Every party has a pooper. And that wasn't as smooth as I wanted it to be. But at least the experience I earned from that fight healed me back up to full before seeing whatever awaits me in the visitor room. Are you excited, Bats? I mean, we've been building up to this point all night. Don't tell me you've not been looking forward to it. I know I have. Surprise! What? <laughs> Everyone always said I should be in television. You don't want to miss this, really. It'll be a blast. Ten. Nine. Eight. Wait, where's he going? Seven, six, five, four. <laughs> Three, uh, um, I guess I should be getting out of here. One. No, oh, no. Oh. Man, that's gonna leave a mark. But at least it opened up the way for me. Nothing left to do but follow Joker. Didn't you stop Batman? Uh, no. <laughs> Me? It was your plan, you goofy clown. Go! <laughs> <laughs> There's that backhand. I'm sending you back to the ventriloquist where you belong. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> This time, Joker's made Titan henchmen out of Arkham Guards. You had to spoil everything, didn't you? Beating up Bane, feeding Scarecrow to Croc, slapping around Harley, my hobby, by the way, and ruining all my lovely venom plants. It's over, Joker. Over? Why, my dear delusional Dark Knight, it hasn't even begun. Oh, boy. So two Titan henchmen and four regular henchmen. Let's wait for one of them to charge. Always ready with the Batarang, but... Oh no! Didn't have enough room to dodge. For this one, he should be able to redirect his friend into the charge. Getting some bonus damage. Uh-oh, here comes the real ground pound. <laughs> I can actually help me against all these regular henchmen. <laughs> so can that strike. Getting way too close with that takedown. Ooh, that wasn't even the one I expected to hit me. I'm still dazed and stumbling around from that last charge. Now be careful. But now a takedown should be fine. And whoop, 
Give someone else to hit. Oh, oh, too close. Ooh, and charged into. All right, let's get out of the corner, because this one is still stumbling. And I've got to say, when Joker created these pairs of Titan henchmen, it was very woke of him to make one of them white and the other one black. Ooh, <laughs> ran right into that one. But seriously, it does make it easier to tell them apart, with their health bars and everything. Oh, thought he was still dazed. In fact, he's ready to charge again. And if you look at his health bar, he should be down on the ground and ready to, I guess, mount? That sounds wrong. Maybe take control of is better? It's a very blue mana thing to do. And getting the Freak Show Rodeo Trophy for having the Titan henchman hit some of the guys on the ground. He's drawn back to his bigger companion, who is also staggered. Whoop. <laughs> the guy behind me. Jumping up on him as many more henchmen join the fray. I'm not even gonna bother to count them all. Let's just call it many more henchmen minus one. The black one's charging, taking the white one with him. It should give me some more time to focus on the henchmen. And another takedown. Scratch one more, two more. And uh, enough of this, let's go back to the big guys. Because I can see that the other one is really close to losing his second health bar. There we go. Thankfully out of range of the white one's ground pound. Now, I really like this one I'm controlling to focus more on the henchman on the ground. Because I only get three hits on the other titan guy. It's harder than it looks to control. There we go. Plus, everyone knows the best way to deal with a henchman is a takedown. Now just get out of the way and... Hey, that's the only one left. So we should have plenty of time for a ground takedown. Whoa! Depends on what your definition is of plenty of time. Now the white one on the ground, ready for me to jump up on his back and... Wait a minute. I just see another henchman drop in? Come on, big guy. Turn around. Reverse! Oh, boy. There's a lot of them. There's got to be at least eight of them. I mean, there's got to be at least seven. Now fighting my way away from the Titan henchman. Getting that one as he charges. Coming out of it with a takedown. Trying to focus on the henchman while trying to avoid that backhanded strike. Wait a minute, that wasn't a backhanded strike. Oh! Killed by a henchman throw. That loser didn't stand a chance! <laughs> I mean, look at me! Look at you what? You didn't do a single thing in this fight. And to take me back to the beginning of this room, let's just fast forward to the good part. I'm gonna let this whole boss fight play from the beginning. It's such a good combination of action and music. Plus, I just don't want this game to end. Oh, look out! Oh, here comes another one. Black is charging in the back. Hitting his friend as he does so. Now let's get some hits in while he's vulnerable. Ooh. Hit with a pipe there, but will not take a hit from the ground pound. Let's take a white one. Continuing to hit him as much as possible. Ugh, kicked. But it was worth it to lure those guys into a ground pound. Regrouping over here. Another charge. And I didn't even have to dodge that one. Now I'm far enough away that even though the other one's charging, I can get some hits. Whoa! Now the white one's on the ground, thanks to that charge. Jump over here and punch this one first. <laughs> Two for one foot sweep. Kicking that guy out of the way first. This attempt is going really well. I took some early hits, but now I'm on a roll. And now the black one is on his knees. First, let's do a quick takedown. Thin the ranks a little. Get over there, making sure not to do two jumps in a row so I don't ruin the combo. Jump on this one. Go to town on his buddy. And now, ready with another takedown. Oh, here's a charge. Get out of the way. And again, he got the other one. So let's get back to him. It's fine. There's more henchmen coming in. Let's go get the other guy while he's still vulnerable. Oops, coming get close with this takedown. Oof. Ah, he got me as I was standing up. Oh man, the other one. Man, these armor upgrades are really pulling their weight tonight. Whoop, made it out in time. And look at the black one up top. He's getting ready for a henchman toss, but this time, I was well protected. So he just floored his friend with a strong, accurate throw. 
and I keep calling these Titan guys friends. As you can tell by their outfits that they're both Arkham guards, but now they're just rage monsters, attacking everything they see, who are thankfully very easy to lead by the neck. Black one charging again, right into his counterpart, teammate, co-worker. Either way, he's ready to climb. Oof. And I think this was the last group of henchmen, so that should be it. Now it's just these two big guys to deal with, so there's no way I'll be able to maintain this times 26 combo. Make that times 28. <laughs> yeah, just better to stay back here and watch the fireworks until both of them are stumbling around. Whoa! Their last legs. Whoa! He's still stunned. Whoa! Not worth it. Now, hooking the batarang behind the black one to hit the white one. He's now ready to go down. Look out for the ground pound. Gotta get back there. Give the one, two, backflip takedown. Alright, ready whenever you are. Just you and me. Getting a nice view of the arena. As I charge in to wail on this guy. Gotta get him before. Oh no, he's still got one more ground pound in him. I'm still going. Times 10, 11. Oh, he's down. From the back. Yes! Once again, got each Titan henchman with a different takedown animation. Nicely done, Bats. Thanks. You deserve a prize. Nope. Your old pal, Commissioner Gordon. Uh. Say, he looks all run down. Let's pep him up. No! Uh. Batman! Uh-oh. Get away! Well, I think he's tied up there, so... Here we go! We're gonna have some fun now, kiddies! You're trying to resist the change! That's not fair! Come on, get in! So, you wanna play hardball, Bats? Do ya? Your call! <laughs> pickle, pickle! No! Oh, you're ruining my big night! Months of planning down the crapper! I just wanted to bring down your grim facade and for once let you see the world as I see it, giggling in a corner and bleeding. But you've denied me even that. I have nothing to live for. So <laughs> Let's get ready to die! 
Tango! Wait, that's not. Oh, Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Let's just run away from him. Ooh, he's really fast. Excuse me, that. Oh, now he's distracted. Ow! Well, so much for those armor upgrades. In you come, boys. I've softened them up for you. He sure has. All right, now let's wait till there's three targets for my ultra bat claw. <laughs> wait, what did he just toss in there? Oh, oh, those boxes. Let's just stay away from them. Oh, hate that. All right, let's focus here. Looks like there's seven henchmen. Joker's not doing anything. Oh, wait a minute. He just tossed something else. Just flying through the air in slow motion. It looks like another set of Joker teeth. But this one looks different. Uh oh, it's getting close. It swings and misses. <laughs> I think that explosion took out one of those guys. As I cherry pick some ground takedowns. Whoop, whiffed on that guy. He's going to pick up a pipe. And whoop, Joker's tossing in another set of teeth. And hey, that guy on the left just got knocked out by the electric fence. Now, while Joker's back is turned. Oh, interrupted his banter. No, you get down here. <laughs> Got his nails stuck in the floor there. When I get out of this, I'm going to rip your freaking head off. Oh yeah, not before a one, two, three, double left uppercut. And according to his health bar on the right, I'll have to hit him like that two more Give times. Me that shot, bats. I'm gonna hit those boxes with a battering. I'll rip you apart for all and hey, another upgrade. I get some health back, which I just lost immediately. I'm out, Bat. My feet. I smell more henchmen. Give him a kicking for me, boys. Yeah, I'm bored of him. And this time there are high security henchmen with knives. Oh, and there's a guy up top trying to get a firearm from the box up there. And a wrist breaker takedown. Oops, didn't use the cape stun. But before that guy gets a shot off. Knock him right into the electric fence. Taking out the knife wielder with a takedown. And another set of Joker teeth. Now let's lure that set of teeth over here. Building up to a takedown for someone else trying to pick up the gun. And I could hit that high security henchman because he was stunned by that explosion. Joker's distracted again. When I'm done here, I will march on Gotham, flanked by an army of brutal monsters. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Always let him finish the banter whenever possible. What are you doing? Get down here! <clears throat> You'll die for this bat! I don't think so. Another double left uppercut, and I wonder why each hit takes so much off his health bar. I guess the Titan made Joker a lot stronger, but it also made him more fragile. And everyone will see. Whoa. Back in a second. That's and here's a quick message from Joker. Who else wants to get crazy? Come in, boys. Knock him about a bit. I've got a city to address. All right, now a virtual outpouring of henchmen. At least nine of them. And some more boxes. And the guy at the top is picking the gun off the floor, so let's just get him. And two other people with a triple batarang. Here's another takedown. Oh, there's someone else going to get the gun. As there's a new set of Joker teeth following me around. Watch the top of the screen here. Bzzzt. Knocked right into the electric fence. And hey, that guy on the right somehow found a stun baton. Let's use it against him. Now there's just three left. Make that two left. The last two henchmen of the entire game. I'll give you something for the morning news. This the last set of Joker teeth. I just can't resist hitting those things with batarangs. I've been trained to do it the entire game. This won't stop me. Yeah, I beg to differ. Anything you throw at me, Bats. You can't beat me. I'm actually going to win. Ready for the next round? Always. What? I'll never let you win. <laughs> never. No! 
Ooh. Big Bang, Bigger Bang, and Biggest Bang. Get all three trophies when you beat it on the hard difficulty setting. And my right arm is pretty mangled, but it's all worth it, because Joker has been defeated. Dad, thank God. I was so worried. I'm fine, Barbara. The GCPD finally has control of the asylum. The doctors are treating the injured, but it looks like it'll take some time. All super criminals are back in custody. <laughs> Quite a mess in there. And the venom-enhanced inmates are returning to normal. Though for some, the process can be quite painful. Dad, how are you doing? I'll survive. See you tonight, Barbara. Shame about your car. And my glove and my belt. Can I give you a ride? Thanks, Jim, but I have one on the way. Get some rest. You deserve it. Stay safe, Jim. Hero's work is never done. And as I take control of the Batwing and fly back to Gotham after a long night's work... Batman out. So that's it for Batman Return to Arkham Asylum. And here are the original game credits. I'll let these roll for a little bit so we can see some of the top names associated with the project. Also so we can listen to some of the top-notch original music, which is not on the official soundtrack, although it was remixed for the Arkham City soundtrack track titled Call Him Off. But enough about that. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these videos as much as I enjoyed making them, although that might be a stretch. In the meantime, stay tuned to this channel for more Batman and baseball and video game related content, and check out my blog at thoughtsaboutbaseball.com. Now, just as the music climaxes, thanks again, and this is Riskmonger signing out. Post credit scene. All right, what do we have here? Crate of Titan floating in Gotham Bay. And whoa, Scarecrow. I guess the story continues.